All right, we're gonna look at example two. Given the following angles, determine the reference angle for each. Now these are angles in standard position. So it's as if we're given the theta values. This is still the general rule, but I find just when you're given theta, drawing a little picture is probably the best way to go about it. So I'm gonna draw a little sketch here and picture where theta is. So if theta is 227 degrees, I start from my initial side and that's gotta be between 180 and 270. So somewhere here in quadrant three. As long as it's in quadrant three, it doesn't have to be perfectly accurate. So if this distance here is 227, I wanna know what's this distance between the initial so uh, nearest x-axis and the terminal side rather. That's what theta r is. So to figure out this distance, I would take 227 minus 180. So 227 degrees minus 180 degrees. That's gonna give me 47 degrees. All right, let's look at the second one or B here. Same thing, so initial side here always. 340 is gonna take me not quite to 360, so somewhere in quadrant four. I wanna now know what the reference angle is. So it would be this entire distance of 360 minus the reference angle. So I would take 360 degrees minus 340 degrees, and it would be 20 degrees. Okay, let's look at 58 degrees. I don't probably need to draw this one, but I'll just quickly show you. The initial side and the reference angle are the same, so 58 degrees. And if we take a look at um, D, 168 is between 90 and 180, so it's somewhere in quadrant two. So this is the 168, or that's the standard position angle. I wanna know what's the reference angle, so the angle to the nearest x-axis. So I would take all 180 minus theta r, uh, sorry, 180 minus 168 to find theta r. And we'd get 12 degrees. Okay, so I didn't use this rule. You might be sort of questioning that, but that's because I was given theta r. I was given this part each time and asked to find this. I could have actually still um, substituted in theta and rearranged it, but I want to have you to have a good understanding of why um, these angles are what they are when you're visualizing the difference between standard position and the reference angle.